Welcome to the next video in the Data Video Tutorial Series, where we show you tips and tricks on how to get the most out of your SE1200MU-HD switcher. The SE1200 controller software allows you to control many functions of your switcher, such as cutting between sources on your preview and program bus, key settings, user presets, and many other functions as you would on a physical control surface. In this tutorial, we will show you how to connect your SE1200 controller software and how to take advantage of features unique to SE1200 controller software, such as importing still image files directly from your PC and advanced chroma key controls. To get started, first install the SE1200 controller software on your Windows PC. You can download the controller software from the Data Video SE1200 webpage. It is included in the latest firmware update file. After you have the software installed, Use an Ethernet cable to directly connect your PC to the SE1200 HD switcher. Then on your PC, go to View Network Connections and select Local Area Connection. Go to Properties and select Internet Protocol version 4. Choose the option for Use the following IP address. Here you will set a manual IP address. For the first line, enter 192.168. Dot 100 dot 2. Then press Tab, and on the third line, enter 192.168.100.1. When you are finished, click OK, and close the other windows. Now, open your SC1200 controller software. Click on Ethernet address and enter once again 192.168.100.2. This tells the software that this is the IP address of the unit. If you have trouble connecting, just restart your PC to refresh the network settings. Now that the SE1200 HD switcher is connected to your PC, let's learn how to import still image files. Make sure your images match the resolution you're using with your SE1200 HD switcher, which will be either 1280 by 720 or 1920 by 1080. Place your images in a folder you can easily access on your PC, and select Setup on your controller software, and select Import, Export. Create a still number to assign to the image you are importing, and click on Import Still. This will launch a browser to find the image on your PC. In the bottom right of the browser, select the format your file is in. You can choose from images in BMP, JPEG, .pic, or PNG. Select the image you would like to import and double-click it or click Open. The window will close and you can select stills on the control panel to view it. Click on the image and then assign the input where you would like to save it to on the still buffer. Then click Load Still and you will be able to see the image on the multi-view on the input you saved it to. You can repeat the process, setting a unique number for each still for up to 1,000 still images. This is a great feature to use for loading your logos with Alpha Channel. The Luma Key feature in the SE1200 allows you to key your logos or graphics over any of your video inputs. As you can see in this example, we have loaded our logo with Alpha Channel. Now, using Luma Key, we will key the logo on top of a video input. When you are ready to take it to air, just press Key 1 in the program bus. You could also do this with a lower third. To delete a still image, select the image, Click Delete, then click OK. Next, we will show you how to access advanced chroma key controls on the SE1200 controller software. First, click on Chroma on the control panel. Under CK Setup, you will be able to use a color wheel to select the color you would like to key out and have a great visual aid to help you create that perfect key. You can also select numeric color values. More advanced features include visual tools to define a color range for your key and the ability to add chroma suppression to help fix the edges of the subject in your key. Thanks for watching!